Have you made the decision to add a new dog to your home, but you're not sure what breed is right for you? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at two larger breeds that could become your perfect canine companion, the Bloodhound and the Bernese Mountain Dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bloodhound Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful breeds. Let's begin by taking a brief look at the history of the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound can be traced back to the mid 14th century. They first appeared in British writing when the Earl of Hereford, Sir Humphrey de Bohun, wrote a poem, William of Perlain. They appeared to be already quite established at the time of their mention in the poem. The Bloodhound was bred to track and hunt large game, as well as tracking humans. It's believed that they were originally bred in France, using hounds bred by the monks of St. Hubert Abbey in Belgium. They once were known as sleuth hounds, but it is believed that they gained the name bloodhound for two reasons. One was their ability to track and hunt the scent of blood, and the other was the dedication of the first breeders to ensure the bloodline remained pure. Next, the history of the Bernese Mountain Dog. The Bernese Mountain Dog was originally bred as a drover dog, draft dog, and farm dog. Farmers used these dogs because they could pull heavy carts full of milk and cheese. The Bernese Mountain Dog is known as the Berner Senenhund in their native land, or cheese dog, for their role of moving cheese from farms to markets. Their name comes from the district of Bern found in Switzerland. Bernese Mountain Dogs were first registered by the American Kennel Club in 1937. Bloodhounds are certainly an iconic breed. They have many defining features that make them stand out, including a long face, wrinkles and long, large ears. Bloodhounds actually have uses for these long ears and wrinkles. Their large ears work as a barrier to stop wind from blowing away DNA whilst they have their noses to the ground. The wrinkles that are located under their jaws and neck is actually known as the shawl. These wrinkles actually store scent particles. This means that a bloodhound can refresh the scent that they're following so they never forget it. This is how bloodhounds can track a scent for days. Their wrinkles do need, however, looking after as part of their grooming needs. They don't require much of the grooming to keep their dense, short coat looking clean. In fact, brushing them once a week is sufficient. Their coat comes in many accepted colours, including black and tan, liver and tan, and red and liver. They're a large breed, standing at a height of 27 inches or 68 centimetres at the wither, and weighing up to 110 pounds or 50 kilograms. Females tend to be a little smaller, standing to a height of 25 inches or 63 centimetres, and weighing up to 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a large breed. In fact, male Bernese Mountain Dogs usually stand up to 27 and a half inches, which is around 70 centimetres at the withers, and weigh up to 115 pounds or 52 kilograms. Females stand up to 26 inches, which is around 66 centimetres at the withers, and weigh up to 95 pounds or 43 kilograms. Bernese Mountain Dogs have a very iconic, striking tricolour coat of black, white and rust. They have dark brown oval eyes, high set triangular medium sized ears and a broad head. Their neck is muscular which leads to a strong back and they have developed powerful legs and a full fluffy tail. This breed has a double coat that has a woolly undercoat. They should be brushed weekly and even daily when shedding to help remove any loose hair and keep their coat clean. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel a properly trained bloodhound will certainly be worth the time and effort they'll be a joy to work with or have around the home bloodhounds who are well trained make amazing working dogs many have been used as police dogs drug detection search and rescue dogs and even cadaver dogs 
They're an independent and active breed that requires a lot of exercise and mental stimulation. If they do not receive efficient amounts of physical and mental stimulation, they can become destructive around the house. They ideally need around two hours of exercise every day. They're at their best when they're given a job to do and thrive at scent training. If not trained properly, they can become stubborn. The best approach for training this breed is positive reinforcement, persistence and plenty of rewards and praise. They can be quite sensitive, so they don't respond well to impatient owners or those who don't show a level of calm. Always ensure you remain calm and consistent as a bloodhound will take the lead if given the opportunity. The Bernese Mounted Dog is renowned to being a sweet-natured gentle dog. They have a good temperament and are loyal to their family. Of course, early socialisation to different dogs, people, sights, sounds and smells is essential to ensure your Bernese Mountain Dog becomes a confident and well-mannered dog. This breed does very well at tracking agility, carting obedience, sledding, confirmation and rescue work in dog sports. Bernese Mountain Dogs love to help you around the house in any way that they can, like fetching and carrying things for you. They love to please their owners, which tends to make training easier than other breeds. Bernese Mountain Dogs respond best to positive training and fun short training sessions. They do take a while to mature though, both physically and mentally, and can stay puppyish in their attitude for a while. They are a sensitive breed that don't respond well to harsh corrections, so a calm, consistent leader is a must with this breed. The Bloodhound is a placid breed and usually get along well with children. However, they are a large breed and the potential for accident and injury by knocking over little ones is always there, so keep interactions between them supervised. They were bred to hunt in packs, so usually get along well with other dogs, but they can have issues with dogs the same sex as them. Due to their history of tracking and hunting, the Bloodhound has a high prey drive, and they don't always get along with other animals smaller than them, including cats, rabbits, and other small animals. However, if well socialised from a young age, they can live alongside them, but it's always wise to show caution when leaving them alone together. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a breed that gets along extremely well with all children. However, as I've previously said, it's always best to supervise large dogs with children, as they could cause accidents due to the dog forgetting their size during playtime. Bernese Mountain Dogs can act goofy when they're with their family and they adore playtimes and a long game of fetch. They also get on very well with other dogs and pets. They should always be socialised with cats and other animals so they don't see other animals as prey. However, I would also never recommend leaving any animals unsupervised as the Bernese Mountain Dog is large and accidents can happen. Both the Bloodhound and the Bernese Mountain Dog are both loving, loyal and energetic dogs. The addition of either would be a fantastic canine companion for any experienced, calm, consistent leader that is looking for a working breed that is gentle and family focused. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bloodhound videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bloodhound Show.